Let's go. Oh my god, my hair is messy, but I finally finished this sweater that I started three months ago or something. It's going to be so beautiful in front of uh, or over a skirt. I got it from my sisters for my birthday and then I knitted it. I really like the color of it and it's so fluffy and soft. I think it will be the perfect, oh, the toilet paper in the back out of the bathroom. I think it will be perfect for uh, fall and cold summer nights. The dough is not in it. It's been here on 250 degrees for 30 minutes. And now I'm going to take that out, put the dough in and start with the bread. You can see, <laughs> you can see it's going outside of the bowl. That's probably good. Okay, so that's not the prettiest bread I've ever seen, <laughs> but yeah, that was not the best recipe, I think. It was very, very soft and we were supposed to uh, not really touch it that much. It was just putting it, putting it in here or pouring it in. It was very uh, wet, the dough, so yeah, but hopefully it's finished. I want to bring it to my parents' cabin with them today. We'll see if it tastes good. Mm, this is amazing. 10 out of 10. Lately, I've been neglecting a lot of emotions. And or maybe I wouldn't say neglecting them. But I haven't worked through them. So, which is probably the same. <laughs> I definitely tried to slow down and listen to what I need but I've been ignoring the fact that I need to write in my diary which often helps me uh, and I know that when I've been ignoring it for a couple of weeks it's probably something that is very necessary to work through. I just write things that I achieved, goals I have, something that I just need to work through so yeah that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to see actually when the last time I wrote in it was. Okay, the 27th of May and today is the 29th of June. So I've been neglect neglecting it for a month and so much has happened since the, or the past month. And as you see, I don't write every day. I don't really feel like journaling every day is realistic for me or something that I need, but ideally every week, but it comes in waves. So certain periods of my life, I'm better at meditating, which I've been doing regularly this year. And maybe I go for mindful walks. I try to practice mindfulness in different ways. And then... Other periods of my life, I use the diary religiously every other day. Uh, but now I'm in a phase where I write in it. It can go a month, it can go two weeks, things like that. But yeah, I'm going to work with it now. It's just a little reminder to listen to how you feel, what you need, and just do it. Just sit down for five minutes and write whatever you feel and get it down on the paper you can burn it or you can just use a diary like I do and really work through things it really really helps especially if you're like me and worries a lot about things oh, this was a good angle wasn't it very laid back journaling hey is this better It's 
a good 15 minutes later and I've wrote down everything that has been happening the past month, uh, everything that I'm feeling, something that I really needed to work through and I also wrote some goals for July. So I really recommend doing it. It feels like I think more clear and I feel more calm. I really mentalize and think about things that I inst think about things, work through things instead of just thinking about it for myself. I kind of find solutions uh, in another way uh, than if I would just be thinking about it. So yeah, I really recommend that. That is something that I like doing for myself and sometimes neglect. <laughs> Hello, so I thought I'd update you a little bit on our little dog garden project. So, these past few days, my fiancé and my father-in-law has been working so much on the garden, dog garden. So, this is an old, old dog house that my um, family-in-law had for their dog. And Instead of buying a new one for our dog, they have fixed everything, exchanged everything that needed to get exchanged, and I'll turn the camera around. They put in this, they changed the roof, they changed the isolation, they changed a lot of, uh, a lot of the planks here, and then they just have to um, get a new door and some of these needs to be changed and we add another one here uh, so when the house is cleaned since it has some part of it has been used before uh, i can paint it just this is just their uh, work i have not been helping at all um, our family or my father-in-law has been visiting uh, a few days now and now they're at a festival so i thought uh, I'm not, uh, since I'm not really a good builder or a handy builder or person at all, I can help with what I can help with. So today, uh, while they are gone, I will uh, rake everything in here so that we can get rid of this. Uh, so it would be more comfortable for him to walk here. And then they had to buy something to clean this with and when that is done i can paint it so i want to help where i can they've done such a good job so yeah for me the mission is to clean everything here just need to uh, get everything in one big pile because the tire for the wheelbarrow is broken so i can't fix that now as i just need to get everything together but that's the goal now I made a few piles. It doesn't really look that much better yet because when I get the piles away, when the wheelbarrow is fixed, I can take the broom out and clear it out properly. But yeah, at least I've gathered them. <laughs> at least the project is started and when they are finished with everything here, I can paint it and then I need to borrow a pump for the wheelbarrow because I don't have that for some reason and get the piles away. Maybe I can help them with some other small things here, but yeah, when he could get help from his father, that's a lot better. He's more handy than me. <laughs> so yeah, they have been doing a really good job here. I can't wait till it's finished. Uh, it's not that important that it's finished right away before he comes um, because he's too small to be there alone in the beginning anyway. But I thought I could be there with him a little bit and get used to get used to it. Um, just so you know, he can hang out there a little bit if. I'm doing something in the house and can't walk with him right away or yeah, whatever. I think that will be a good space for him. Other than that, the only thing I have left to do in the garden is to take this off so I can tie up my tomatoes because they are just <sighs> insane right now. 
and I also tried to tie up my sweet peas. My friend helped me a little bit yesterday trying to guide them here uh, so they can climb up. But I think maybe I should tie them even a little better. Maybe. <laughs> Can't wait to see what happens here. Never came around to buy more strawberry plants, but things are starting to happen here. Can't wait. Still have some salad and green kale here. And then it's obviously the garden bed. Haven't done more here either. I still want to take one little trip to the garden center to plant one here. I don't think those will spread that much, so maybe some more, but I also want to see for next year. There's not much different. We've been sitting around the table here and having some barbecues. The garden is thriving. The lights that I bought and showed you in one of the last vlogs. Still haven't gotten around to uh, fix the barbecue garden ready for summer. It hasn't happened that much inside, but I hung up Copper's little sign and I bought some new toys for him and I gathered them all in these little baskets and I put his other accessories here. This is going in my car, so I can move that and clean that, put the blanket in. Um, I <laughs> We're supposed to move this, but I can't do that alone. So many things demand extra help. But what I think, I don't know if we're going to put it upstairs, but... Uh, because the thing is that we need to have space in the outside storage room in order to move it there. And then, and that's not something I can uh, clear out by myself because it's other people's stuff. But I thought maybe I can move this downstairs or maybe uh, it that can go up here. I'm not sure. I just thought I'd move this down uh, just in case, but... As you can see, I have to glue this on and these are a little lighter than that one. Maybe I can fix that later. I'm not sure if I just should do it now. Uh, I just want to move it downstairs, to be honest. Okay, so if you think for a second that this was an absolute hell to move down by myself, you're wrong. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm not sure if I should just have it here or move it into the wall. I have the contact there, so I think I just keep it here. And then my vision the entire time has has been to have my record player there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I think. And I was supposed to... I have to glue this together. You can see I should probably have another coat. I don't know why I put this down. My wish was to take out that um, here so I can have my record standing up straight. I can finish this later because <laughs> it's just something about trying to get things done, moving this so this can go up. If it's enough space, probably it will be so freaking heavy. I also contemplated just moving it in as much as possible. If we can't find a space for it. It's just an old casket thing that has been here forever. Uh, but it's not really my style, but it's a family thing. So we need to keep it, but I don't want it in the living room. Now I could just put the cleaning things here. I laid the records down here for now, but my dream is to take that out and, you know, one day open this and have a big collection of records. Uh, but yeah, my vision is uh, complete. I also want to uh, uh, paint this in a color, the color, but I wasn't sure which color, but it's okay. I can still use it. It doesn't need to be completely finished. So I just moved the plant here. You can see it better now. It's a lot of plants here now. Yeah, it was cute. 
I just want it leveled to uh, that picture. It's very, it's very low. It's very little, but yeah, that's how it is for now. I tried to put another plant there. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. At least I moved it. Oh my, finally a new Wackamer. I've been wanting this for so long, especially now that we're getting a puppy and will be a lot of hair. So yeah, oh my God, let's look at it. to end up the vlog here i'm pretty tired i feel like i said this in every vlog but it was a little all over the place it was just some updates and some bits and bobs for our puppy and i finally wanted to show the furniture that i kind of finished and things like that and in the next vlog you're probably going to see our puppy so Get ready for that one and I'll see you soon.